More than 400,000 babies are born prematurely or before the 37th week of pregnancy each year in the U.S., according to the National Institutes of Health. Thanks for joining us for this week's Health News You Can Use. I'm Lindsay Stish. This week, we're talking about the breastfeeding journey for mothers who have prematurely given birth to their babies. With me today is Margie Stark, a lactation consultant at St. Luke's Hospital. Thank you so much for joining us. Happy to be here. So Margie, first of all, what are the benefits of breast milk for preterm babies? Research shows us, Lindsay, that when preterm babies receive human milk, they have a dramatic decrease in their risk of intestinal infections and other illnesses associated with preterm delivery. When parents find that their baby has been admitted to the NICU, the neonatal intensive care unit, it's very important for us to reassure them that breastfeeding is still possible and actually very important for their baby. Um, fortunately, mothers begin producing colostrum in the third and fourth month of pregnancy, and when they deliver early, their colostrum composition perfectly matches the gestational age of their baby. Temporarily, it's higher in protein, fat, sodium, and amino acids. How interesting. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the potential challenges that premature infants and their mothers uh, may face in the NICU? So initially, many NICU babies will not be able to actually nurse from the breast due to their immaturity and small size. So typically, they will receive human milk through a very tiny, flexible NG tube that goes from their nose to their belly, and they receive nutrition without having to work for it, much as if they're still in utero. And then um, as they mature, we watch them for feeding cues and signs of readiness, and they start to go to breast for, we say, licks and cuddles, and then practice nursing, and then eventually effective breastfeeding. Okay. Now, how does donor human milk help families in the NICU? So preterm babies we share with parents are born to preterm breasts, meaning that m significant breast development takes place in that last trimester of pregnancy. So frequently women's milk production may be a little delayed when they deliver early. Um, we are grateful that at St. Luke's in our NICUs we have the option of donor human milk. It's meant to serve as a bridge while mother's milk supply is increasing. And some babies will receive just a a feeding or two of donor human milk, while others may receive that for many days or weeks. So how does St. Luke support breastfeeding and milk production in the hospital NICUs? So we assist mothers after their baby has been admitted to the NICU in starting pumping um, within one to two hours of delivery, ideally, and then we ask them to pump eight times every 24 hours, which is a lot of work for a new mom. Um, we know that frequent breast stimulation and milk removal is essential to establishing a good healthy milk supply. Moms keep a pumping log that of all their sessions, and this is reviewed with lactation consultants frequently. And what are the, some of the ways that we promote comfort and bonding between mother and baby couplets in the NICU? So babies recognize their mother's scent immediately after birth. Whenever they smell mother, they, that reduces their stress, it reduces crying, um, it eases pain, and promotes bonding with mom. In the first 48 hours following delivery, mothers typically collect just small drops of colostrum, and we actually give them little swabs, colostrum swabs, and we ask them to collect the drops on these. They label them and then return them to the NICU, and our nurses use these for baby's oral care, and we also rub them on infant hands, and then babies smell mom nearby whenever they have their hand close to their nose. Um, we also have these little fabric scented hearts that our volunteers make, and these have wool inside, which, which picks up mother's scent. And so we ask the moms to um, sleep with this on their chest at night and then return it to the NICU the next day, and it's placed in baby's incubator. Again, comforting smell when they, when they have that nearby. When babies are stable, then we do encourage skin-to-skin um, -skin time every day with mother or their other parent, and um, we, that's also known as kangaroo care. And then we do encourage moms to pump if they can soon after skin-to-skin -skin time because that's going to encourage increased milk production. Great. Well, is there mm -hmm. anything else you'd like to add? So lactation consultants meet frequently with our NICU families, giving um, encouragement and assistance as babies progress in their breastfeeding journey and also um, bottle feeding breast milk sometimes. Um, being a NICU parent is a challenging start, so they need lots of praise. We do, we do that often, and we remind them that they're doing a very important work, um, providing skin-to-skin -skin time, pumping consistently, resting, eating, drinking. They're all vital tasks for a NICU mom but these tasks do um, benefit their babies for a lifetime. 
Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. To find out more about St. Luke's breastfeeding classes and support groups and how to get an appointment, visit stlukeskc.org slash maternity. You can also stay up to date with all the other health news from St. Luke's at stlukeskc.org slash news. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time on Health News You Can Use.